Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Stop. On XFM. 104.9. I reckon we could run it for a week, just to do- just to do a few Would little things. Would you want to bother though, I mean? No, but I mean, just like, you know, have a look at the playlist a little bit. Yeah. Get some- Another phrase, polishing a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just another one that springs to mind. <laughs> you, know? you don't say that, Carl? What? Turd? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. That's alright. Well, you said it, so you're the producer. No, that's <laughs> alright. Alright? Yeah. I'll tell you how I've got it together. Capital. Oh, now that's a classy station. I was- I came in in the week to just check Carl out if he was here, he wasn't, he was out for about a, an hour or so. And, um, I heard in the lift, I don't know what DJ it was on, uh, he just went and, uh, he was talking about that little girl, Summer, who, uh, went missing, but then she was just found reading a book. And I yeah. swear, right, I, I swear, he went, uh, and there's a lovely, uh, lovely picture of her there, just, uh, just reading the book. So, uh, what a happy ending. It's a shame they don't all end like that. Oh, God. And he played a record. What's his point? Unbelievable. I mean, what's that? I don't know. <laughs> it's those people who think that they're being a little, what, a little bit philo philosophical? But yeah. Profound. And then just everyone goes, oh. oh thanks very much. Oh. Yeah. I noticed in the, uh, the story of Summer, the little girl that went missing, I don't know if you re read that it, it mentioned her, f her family. Now, it mentioned the, the father of the house. I don't know if it's her father or certainly the guy, that, the parent, the, the male parent. And it was like, it was something like, I, I think, I don't want to, you know, libel him, but it was something like Paul 24, and he's a graphic designer, recently changed his name to Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder what, what exactly is that? How, how is he, how is, uh, his family he, is that, uh, really? Uh, yeah. You know, I uh, don't want to. I'm always a little bit worried about people who change their well, name adults, to summer, certainly. to summer to really, really cool. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, uh, Kevin Smethurst isn't, you know, it's not sexy enough. Exactly, exactly. So I call myself Clint Iron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would you call yourself? I mean, Carl Pilkington, nothing wrong with that, it's quite a superhero's name. W it's when, Pilkington. When I was about seven, I wanted to be called Brett. Yes, yes. Why I, see why. I don't know, I just had a mate who was called Brett and I thought that sounds good. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'm quite happy with my name now. Because Carl, Carl, I have to Carl say, where does where does that come from, Carl? Because it's quite an it's quite a rare I name. Told you didn't didn't it? My mum had a dream. I forget this. What your mother had a dream? She uh she wasn't well. She had pneumonia or something, oh right? Dear. And uh she had this dream while she was pregnant. That's some doctor sort of, you know. She was going off to another place, she was gonna die or something, and this doctor went, I can sort this out, I can, uh, I, can I know what I do here. And, uh, she remembers on his name badge, it said Carl. Really? So when she had me, she said, right. Call him Carl. Doctor. Doctor Carl. Calling yeah. Doctor Pilkington. Calling Doctor Pilkington. She hoped, I imagine, that you'd grow up to be like him, in every way. I've Saving done alright, I've done alright for myself, I think. Sure. I'm yeah. alright. Yeah. yeah. This is what we were talking about, actually, weren't we? We were talking about the fact that, uh, you're quite proud of the fact that you, you, you've got no formal education, really. And yet you've pulled yourself up from the bootstraps. Yeah. Well, well, well I know I know people who've got results and that, and don't do don't do anything. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Go yeah. on the street. So yeah. I've used all my energy as I've got older, rather than burning myself out as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> so I don't know if if that's advice. Is that should we advise that to young, to young <laughs> kids out there? Don't take exams. Don't work at school. Just uh, you know, move away from Manchester and get a job on XFM. <laughs> They'll employ anyone. Yeah, you get an hour's lunch break. You're away by quarter to six. You need and, uh, you need no qualifications. And to you because you, you, you don't have to think for yourself because your boss tells you what to do. You can have some time off to go yeah. shopping yeah. for Hobbs and yeah. shower units. It's, a good, it's all right. It's a good boss. Yeah, I know. He'll let me have ne next Saturday off. He knows how tired he is. Right? How many Saturdays has he had off? He's going away again. I mean, he's had two holidays. He gets twenty six holidays, twenty day, six days a year. Yeah. Twenty six days a year. It's unbelievable. Yeah, he, he was sick because he put on wet trousers. Yeah. And now you're going down to Hastings. Are you leaving early because you left early last time, didn't you? No, no, I won't do that again. Now, what are you going to Hastings for? Just having a break. Listen, yeah. though, we were talking about depressing news, <laughs> right? And with that kid and what have you. Yeah. You see that thing in the week, there was, there was three bits of depressing news, yeah. right? There was one, an old woman who swallowed a fork. <laughs> <laughs> an old woman who swallowed a fork? Yeah, did you see She's that? dead, the dork. She's an old woman swallowed a fork, so what did she, she why swallowed did she a spoon? Sp why did she, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 when she swallowed a fork. Yeah, what's her name? She, uh, swallowed a cockroach. Right. Sorry, whoa, 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 is this is this the old rhyme Sorry, now? Sorry, is this or a rhyme that you've got slightly wrong? No, 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 you've no, changed, no, you've changed dog for fork. <laughs> this is the truth, is it? This is yeah. what you read. Oh right. no, yeah. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, d d never confuse the two. This is what you read on the spurious website so that, or that, some that mentalist no, on, emailed sorry, you. Just, just before you move on from that, there was an old woman, there was an old woman who swallowed a cockroach. Yeah. And to, in order to get the cockroach out, she what, she swallowed a fork? It doesn't rhyme, but it's good. She, um, she <laughs> tries to get it out. Uh, With a fork? She went, well, I forgot, she, I'm thinking she's in a kitchen. Yeah. That'll do. She grabs that, she tries to get it out, and she lets go of it. And, and it goes, swallows a fork. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was in the paper. The terrible thing, thing was, it was a gardening fork. <laughs> it was, it was awful, you know. What, what, or is that, or is that stupid? That'd be stupid if it was a gardening fork, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what annoys me, though, with things like that. Me? In the paper, it was, well, you do, and everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> you do, honestly, no. Right? You, you do me adding. People, uh, the way people say it must be great working with him. <laughs> must be brilliant. No it's not, that. it's a nightmare. Go it on, is a nightmare. Get on with, get on with it, get on with it. I can't be bothered call. now, let's just close on. Carl, 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 because I, you know, I've won it. I'm yeah. interested. I'm interested. Yeah. Seriously, I am. But come back after this. No, 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 let me finish, finish the story. Come on. Long links. Uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> tell you another bit, cause... <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting so angry. <laughs> Alright, I the player I've got up with. <laughs> Nerve and lucky man. That's for Carl, who is a lucky man. Two hours every Saturday here. Yeah? Just a little bit of chat and laughter. Some great records. All right. What are you going to Hastings for? Just to chill out. Yeah. What are you going to do? Just chill out. <laughs> <laughs> what specifically is in Hastings that's of interest to you? They having another battle? Nothing. It's just cheap, isn't it? If you can get a B and B for about forty quid. Sure. The weather's good, so let's all go. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Do you want Ricky to come down with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Now, you were going to tell us something before we started winding you up. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about the old man who was mistaken <laughs> for a small child. It was actually, yeah, the 70 year old who they thought was underage. Right, so we went, then we got on to, right, so the old woman, I was saying, ek, ek, yeah, yeah, she, uh, she ate a cockroach. Right. She ate a cockroach, yes, yeah. by mistake. How did she eat a cockroach? Why was there a cockroach? Cleaning up? It was, she was cleaning up, it jumped in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. ah! so, so she immediately, the first thing she did was immediately grab a fork and plunge that down her throat. Yeah. Um, well, maybe not immediately. I mean, she tried other methods. She tried plastic spoons, her fingers, maybe washing it out, maybe going, <coughs> oh, I nearly swallowed a cockroach. Did she try that one? <coughs> oh, oh, ugh, how horrible. Right, so right. anyway, the, the fork went down. Yes. And it's got this picture in the paper of, like, the x-ray. And you can see, see the fork just like going across like that. Yeah. Wow. That's that's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, well, it was it, where the fork was in her abdomen, was it? Uh, in that yeah, X-ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure she swallowed it? <laughs> yeah. You sure she didn't just say that to the doctor? Like, how did it get in there? <laughs> Have you got a fork inside you? No, her? I know what you're getting yeah. at. Yeah. Because I remember uh, years ago. Do you know uh, Doctor Steele? Do on, I know uh, Doctor Steele? Yeah. On uh, he does. Is, is, is he it him? The one on. Um, Richard and Judy. Right, what's he, a psychiatrist or the resident doctor? He just pops in and Is that the sort of like the suave sort of... He's not that, he's not that suave. I know what you mean, yeah. He's just a normal doctor fella. Sure. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this was like in the 90s, and, uh, Richard and Judy said, we got the doctor in the A uh, again today, uh, we're looking at things that, you know, have been inside people, and there's this one, right, fella comes on, uh, with an x-ray, yeah. it's sat on a pint glass. He well, sat on a pint well, glass. That's, that's what he hadn't had. Ah, uh, sat on a pint glass. I remember. Uh, I remember that story that uh, was published uh, about the bloke, and this is the excuse he gave um, to a doctor when he had to go and have something removed. It was um, uh, a bottle of sort of HB sauce or something up his. Uh, what word can we say in case well, Andrew's listening? You don't need to. You know, people know what you're saying. Okay. Right. Um, rectum. Is that right? Well, he didn't need to say it, but... Well, no, he might as well. It's a medical term, isn't it? Doctors anyway. say rectum, don't they? Anyway. Um, so, uh, the doctor got it out, and the excuse, he said, he said uh, he'd been shopping, been to Safeways, he bought his shopping home, <laughs> and, uh, he popped the shopping on the, uh, uh <laughs> on the, uh, front step, um, and he realised he's locked himself out. So, he started to shimmy up the drain pipe, um, <laughs> but his trousers and pants fell down. <laughs> <laughs> while he was climbing, and he slipped and fell on the <laughs> HB sauce <laughs> bottle, right? And, and that was the note thing, right? And the, the doctor had put at the bottom on his notes, this would be somewhat more believable if Safeway sold their HP sauce with condoms already attached. 
Oh, oh, wow. well, God. Why didn't he put a condom on it? No idea. To use it again on his chips. <laughs> so he didn't just he, th he didn't just buy it to have a quick, you know. Yeah. He thought, well, I don't want to waste his resource. Sure. I mean, I I use it I use it uh, up the ass, then I put on the chips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> safe sauce. I always practice safe, safe sauce. sauce. <laughs> always have safe sauce. <laughs>